Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan, from High Media TV, and welcome back to Late Night News. Our top story of the day is an update in regards to uh, some legal stuff, but we're going to get into our top headlines first. More than 350,000 ballots have been cast in early voting as opens in North Carolina. A federal judge said it's the First Amendment stupid to the DeSantis administration for threats against TV stations. The DOJ charged a former Indian intelligence official in a four-old assassination plot. And lastly, on to our main story of the day. If you want to see any of the, of our these stories in greater detail that we didn't cover in this episode, please check out our YouTube Shorts feed or our Discord channel where all our articles are posted. Texas judge blocks the execution of man in shaken baby case. A Texas judge has blocked the execution of the first man to be put on death row for the U.S. murder of charges related to shaken baby syndrome less than two hours before the capital punishment was due to be carried out. Robert Robertson, 57, was sentenced to death in 2003 for the death of his two-year-old daughter, Nikki Curtis, after a post-mortem examination concluded she died of injuries from abuse. Robertson and his lawyers have long maintained the child died of complications from pneumonia. Following his day of execution, Robertson voiced his shock and thanked supporters. He was media reported the prisoner was due to be executed at 1800 local time on Thursday, but 90 minutes beforehand, Travis County judge issued a temporary restraining order to stop it going ahead so that Robertson could testify in a hearing at the state legislature next week. The decision came after a panel of the Texas House of Representatives issued a highly unusual subpoena for Robertson late Wednesday, hoping that authorities would have to send him to appear to a hearing on on the 21st of October. A bipartisan group of 86 law Texas lawmakers, dozens of medical and scientific experts, attorneys, and others, including the best-selling author John Grissom and pro-death penalty Republicans, have all called for Robertson to be pardoned. The group argued that the conviction was based on outdated science before authorities grand a proper understanding of shaken baby syndrome. In Robert's case, there was no crime, and yet we're about to kill somebody for it, and Texas Christian told reporters in September. Robertson's lawyer have also argued that his autism, which was undiagnosed at the time of Mickey's death, was used against him after police and medical staff became suspicious at the lack of emotion he displayed. Autism can have affect how a person communicates with others. In a statement reported by the BBC US partner CBS News, Robertson gave his reaction to the judge's intervention, praising God and thanking his supporters. He was shocked to say the least. Texas Department of Criminal Justice spokesperson Amanda Hernandez said to the Associated Press. So this is good. Thankfully, um, there has been, over the last couple of months, a bunch of people on death row who either uh, the evidence pointed to them being innocent, uh, witnesses and prosecutors said that there was misconduct in the trial and that they were probably innocent. There was issues with the trial done generally, which made, you know, convictions like that incorrigible. And, you know, especially in Ohio, uh, they killed a man who did not deserve to be, who was by all, for, but, but I believe to be innocent, all things considered. So obviously there is, you know, there like th this is a case where like I was I genuinely genuinely thought they were going to kill this man like they did that man in Ohio, but they didn't. So, you know, even the pro death penalty ones were you know mildly I'm mildly surprised. But then again, this is a white man, so I think that the I think race has certainly probably had a a, a a a case in it, especially since in Ohio the. Attorney attorneys general up there is like uber fucking racist. So I don't know, but this is good. Um, obviously, this is a anti death penalty cha channel. We're we're not a fan of it. You know, I don't think the state should be able to take somebody's life on like even if even if guilty. And also, like from a tax dollar perspective, it's just cheaper to not kill motherfuckers. But then again, it's also cheaper to have a rehabilitative like incarceration system, and we use our prisoners for slave labor. So it's probably not going to happen. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg/tip. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boon to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.